Hello friends, welcome to my channel Azure Diary. Myself Mohit Gupta. So in this video, I am going to show you how to create the Azure API management using Azure DevOps. So first we are going to create one repository in Azure DevOps. So then we are going to create one Visual Studio project. So we are going to create one API management and then we will take the ARM template uh, from portal. Then we are going to check in that ARM template code in the Visual Studio. And then we will show you how to create the CI CD pipeline, then how to create how to build and deploy. Let's create one project in the Azure DevOps. I'm going to create one project. I'm making an initial commit so that it will create the master directory. Now I'm going to clone this in my Visual Studio. I'm using git extension tool for cloning. Now I'm going to create one project in Visual Studio. This is my Azure resource group. And my location is the clone directory. Currently, I'm taking a blank template. So we got uh, two files now azure deployment.json and basically this is a template file we can where we can put our arm template and this is the parameter file where we can put the parameters which template required so we can deploy any type of resources from the arm template now i uh, now i need the arm template of api management so what I can do, I can create one instance of API management and can take the ARM template from the portal. So I'm going to create one. Now I'm creating one resource group. In this resource group, I am going to add one 
API management. APIN hyphen demo hyphen DevOps organization. I'm taking Azure Diary, surprising DRS developer. I'm not enabling the application inside. So basically, I'm creating this from the portal just for fetching the ARM template. Once we have ARM template ready and we have DevOps ready, after that it does not require this and we can directly create the API management from the Azure DevOps. So in the deployment we can check the ARM template. So this is uh, the deployment and in the deployment we can take the template. So this is the template and this is the parameter file. So I'm taking the template and this is the parameter file. So we can change the parameter value as per our requirement. Now I'm going to deploy. Now I'm going to check in this code. My code has been checked in now. Let's see from the DevOps portal. So my code has been checked in. Now I'm going to create the pipeline. So in the pipeline, uh, we does not require any build functionality. We just need to copy and publish the ARM template and parameter file. So we will, we are going to use only two step here. One is copy the ARM template and then publish that ARM template for the release. This is my source folder where I have to copy the JSON file and I have to publish So we added two steps, uh, first is copy files and second one is publish build artifacts. So copy files will copy the files from source folder to this target folder and from here we will publish all the artifacts. Now I am going to save and run this.
from here we can check the logs of uh, the build the job got executed now and we can check the artifacts from here so these are the these are the artifacts which got published we can uh, filter out the artifacts uh, so we can use only these two artifacts and rest we can ignore okay so now i am going to create the release pipeline This is my release pipeline name deploy apim so i'm adding the artifacts so now i need to add the task task in the task i need to use uh, arm deploy this is a task so I need to define the subscription where I want to deploy my changes so I'm giving my subscription details then I'm I have to give the resource group name So this is uh, my resource group name Now I am going to give the location Then we can choose the template from the our published artifacts In our ca case this one is the template and this one is the parameter file from the for the template and now we can if we want that we want to para, uh, pass the parameter from the azure DevOps so here we can overwrite those template value and we can also replace this value with the uh, DevOps variable so in the name I'm using have apim demo devops okay now i'm going to save and check so we can check the logs from here So we can check the, we can also check the status of the uh, release deployment from the Azure portal also. So go to the resource group and this is my resource group in the deployment. Uh, I can check that this deployment has been started. Yeah, I can check the status. So currently it is in progress.
so it is its status is in activating so it it will take 45 minutes to be online so after 30 minutes uh, my release got success we can check it takes 31 minutes and now it is showing succeed and we can also check from the Azure portal so here it is showing the online status so it means it is active now okay. so this is how we can deploy our API management using Azure DevOps thanks for watching my video please subscribe to my channel and also follow me on my social media accounts thank you